February is Heart Month. We wore red. We talked with several West Michigan doctors about keeping our hearts healthy. That's right. Today, the discussion turns to something we might never get to see coming, sudden cardiac arrest. Dr. Musa Dahu from the Spectrum Health Medical Group is here with us today uh, to talk about this really important topic. And I, I think it's interesting. We sort of started the month mm -hmm. with the uh, idea that we're going to really shine the spotlight on the issue of heart disease, heart issues, and now today we're talking about sudden cardiac arrest. Thank you for having me. Yes. So uh, sudden cardiac arrest, I think people may misunderstand it and confuse it with a heart attack. Sudden cardiac arrest is an electrical problem. So for the heart to beat normally, you need electrical impulses that come regularly. And when the electricity goes into a chaotic circle or all over the place, the heart wobbles and stops pumping blood. And if that doesn't stop, people can die suddenly. And the only effective way to stop that is a defibrillation. When you see a Monte V clear, that actually resets, uh, resets the electricity of the heart so the heart can start pumping again. And it's not the same thing as a heart attack. A heart attack is a, a plumbing problem. When a cholesterol uh, blockages stop the plumbing to the heart, people have chest pain, they don't breathe well, they're having chest pressure, but it's different. With sudden cardiac arrest, the signs, people will collapse. They will lose their pulse, they won't be breathing, and uh, the response to that will be start CPR. And if there's two of you, assign someone to call 911, get help. And the other person should start chest compressions uh, about two a second, so 120 a minute, and don't stop till help arrives. If, there is, if you're in a public place that will have a automated external defibrillator, AED, the, you can find them now at airports, some colleges. We have casinos. one in the hallway right outside of the studio. So know where it is. Mm -hmm. If there's two of you, someone starts resuscitation, the other person has to go get it done. That's, that's your best chance of saving someone. I love how you describe the differences in household terms of plumbing and electrical. Plumbing, yeah. That's it's easier to understand. <laughs> sure. But I'm wondering if the risk factors are a little bit different between both of them as well. Right. The, the most common reason why people have a sudden cardiac arrest is because of a heart attack or older heart attacks. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the risk factors uh, go hand in hand. So if you have risk factors for having heart attacks like smoking, uh, obesity, high blood pressure, diabetes, sedentary lifestyle, that sets you up for heart attacks and also sets you up, sets you up for cardiac arrest. Uh, other risk factors for sudden cardiac arrest would be having a weak heart mm -hmm. from prior heart attacks or from other reasons. There are some genetic diseases that you can inherit and you're born with where the heart doesn't handle the electricity of the heart well or you can have an abnormally thick heart that predisposes you to sudden cardiac arrest. Those are, the one, those are the syndromes you'll see with kids. If you hear a teenager uh, collapsed while playing basketball or something, th those are usually the, the, the things that uh, predispose these uh, children to these uh, uh, to sudden cardiac arrest. Is there something that you can do? I know that you, know, you talk about maybe reducing your risk for having a heart attack, right. as, you know, having a healthier lifestyle, those sorts of things. But what about for sudden cardiac arrest? Would that be like a pacemaker or? So the, uh, the, the best thing is to know what your risk is, and sometimes that's very hard to do, but uh, if, if you have a family history of someone dying suddenly, uh, if you know that you have a weak heart and you're being evaluated by doctors, the doctors will usually assess the risk. Uh, if you are, if your teenager or a young kid is trying to start heavy athletes, heavy sports, and there are screening uh, questions that your primary care physician will ask you. If you're passing out, if you're having excessive chest pain with exercise, they will examine you. And if they see red flags, they will look for the predisposing factors for sudden cardiac arrest. When we deem people too at high risk, the only way to prevent them uh, from dying suddenly is we implant people with defibrillators. There is, it looks like a pacemaker, mm -hmm. it's bigger, it has a wire inside the heart, and it's essentially like the external defibrillator, but it, it shocks you from the inside. 95% okay. of people don't make it to the hospital. They die at home or whatever they are. Mm -hmm. So the only way to protect you is to have something covering you all the time if your risk is deemed high enough to develop sudden cardiac arrest. I gotta think that it's a very scary experience, obviously, but things happening so fast, right. you know, whether it's happening to yourself or whether you're there to witness someone that you love sure. go through something like that. What can you do? Because I gotta think that you're just so overcome right. with fear. Right, and I mean, I had a, a recent patient whose uh, life was saved by his classmates at school, mm -hmm. and they didn't realize that they did the right thing. 
And so I'm, uh, the message will, will be if someone loses pulse, gain control. If there is more than one person, assign the other person, get help, call 911. If you know there is a defibrillator in the vicinity, go get it, mm -hmm. and the other person should start CPR. If, the, if it's only one of you, call 911 and then start CPR until help arrives. And, and people can be saved, uh, and you see it every once in a while, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, that should be the automatic response. Is the risk the same for men and women? Yes. Okay, yeah. same for men and women. As far as I know, yes. Okay, yeah. okay. interesting. Wonderful. So we're gonna have all your information on our screen, and obviously, you know, expert in all of this, <laughs> and it's been wonderful to talk to you Thank for a short time me. to really um, learn a little bit more about this, but if you know someone, if you have more questions for the doctor, please get in touch right there, the information on the screen. Thank we'll you, be guys. right back. This is 8 West.